when you're in the top 10, you want to stay in the top 10. And there's always those angry birds. They're always there. <laughs> They're always there. Welcome to Work Smart. I'm Amber Mack. Mobile apps are the future of the web, and the competition among startups is getting fierce. But it's not just good enough anymore to create an app that mimics your website, or one that has lots of bells and whistles and little functionality. So what does it take to create a successful app? As our guest Lisa Bettany tells us, it takes a good idea and a whole lot of TLC. But before she shares how she helped Camera Plus get to more than 2 million downloads, here's a great tool for you Instagram fans. One of the hottest apps of 2010 was Instagram, an iPhone download that allows you to add cool filters and share these new and improved pics with your friends. Unfortunately, all of this sharing had to be done on your smartphone, until now. With Instagram, you have access to all of your Instagram images and your network through this slick web interface. Lisa Bettany is the host of Mostly Photo and a well-known photographer. She is also the creator of another popular photo app called Camera Plus, which has brought in a reported $1.8 million in net sales. I cut off with Lisa on Skype from my home office. Camera Plus is sort of the DSLR for the iPhones. It's easy to use. It has a really great workflow and you, know, you take a picture, you add an effect, you can tweak it and change things and then upload it and share it on Facebook or Twitter or any of your social nets. What advice do you have for someone out there who is building an app from scratch? And a great idea without execution really doesn't go anywhere. So finding a great development team is a huge part of having a successful app. Uh, Camera Plus, we have a really small but passionate and dedicated team. Everyone from our coder to our designer to our web developer is amazing at what they do. And we have a really great project manager that pushes us when we're lazy and want to sleep. <laughs> Also, knowing what your competitors are doing, I'm constantly looking at what other apps are doing. Can we do that better than them? Is it something, a feature that we need in our app? So constantly evolving and adding new features will definitely help you do well. Let there be light. It's so demanding, especially when you're in the top 10, you want to stay in the top 10, and there's always those angry birds. They're always there. <laughs> They're always there. Most smartphones allow you to download dozens and dozens of apps, but what if you were stranded on a deserted island and you could only have just one? Rich says Tweetbot would be his choice so he didn't end up as a character in Tom Hanks' Castaway. Rick would want to have the SAS Survival Guide. As for Erin, she'd want to have Tumblr on hand so she could blog about the experience. That's all for today's episode. To get more information about the show, go to fastcompany.com slash worksmart. See you next week.